Tracy Collins here from Music Nation. We're here with the lovely Tammy Nielsen. How are you today? Good, thanks. Good. Now, we're here to promote your album, Dynamite. So yeah. you can tell us a little bit about yourself anyway, but I'm going to chuck some questions. So um, so you're originally from Canada. I am, yes. Yeah. And you grew up travelling around North America with your family. And uh, the Nielsens, the band. Right. So mm. what an awesome upbringing that would have been. Yeah, it, it definitely was. You, you don't really appreciate, I guess as a kid, however you grow up is what's normal to you. And so uh, growing up that way, I just thought, oh, well, everybody grows up this way, yeah. <laughs> you know, opening for Johnny Cash and, <laughs> and meeting all these legendary nice country ass. singers. But um, yeah, and then you become an adult and go, oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Most people yeah. have, you know, the white picket fence and the dog and the cat. And um, we didn't have that, but we had a, a 40 foot motor home that we traveled all over North America and, uh, and just sang. So we were, yeah, like a pack of gypsies, I guess. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. So, so was it tough on the road as a kid? Um, it, I mean, it had its moments for sure. There's a lot of challenges being on the road full time uh, with a family of five. Yeah. Um, we used to have a rule that, you know, mum would say, if you buy anything, you have to either be able to wear it or eat it <laughs> because there was no room for anything. And sometimes you'd get a little cabin fever and, and we'd just like pull up into a parking lot and they'd be like, right, let's just go our separate ways. We'd, we'd go to a mall and say, see you back here in two hours. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's how we could kind of cope um, just with some alone time. Yeah. yeah. Well, what was the most memorable um, ex experience you had as a child on tour? Oh gosh, there's so yeah, many. there's just so many. <laughs> That's like saying the most memorable uh, thing in your childhood. It must be one distinct. Um, I'm sure. I guess um, career-wise, would be opening for Johnny Cash was a big thing. That was um, doing doing all of those country music festivals as a family, mm. um, performing and and then getting to watch and and meet some of these legendary um, iconic uh, performers. What was he like? Um, I was too shy to talk to him. My dad <laughs> talked to him. My dad, yeah, I'm so, I'm not normally shy at all. Yeah. But when you're a teenager and you're trying to be really cool. Um, yeah, so my dad and my brother spoke to him. And yeah, it's so down to, down to earth. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, really, really great sense of humor. Wow, yeah. that's so cool. And do you have any regrets? Anything that you, you haven't done so far? Like, you know, or when, when you're a child, do you have any regrets? Sort of? Uh, probably um, being too cool to talk to Johnny Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Good answer. Not yeah. too cool. Too shy. Too, too shy. shy. And trying to be like all, yeah. Yeah. Um, not not really appreciating um, the status of some of these these performers that I met because you know when you're kind of 13, 14 years old, um, you don't really um, appreciate what they've accomplished and who they are. You kind yeah. of think, oh, they're they're the artists that my dad listened to growing up. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. you become an adult and go, yeah. oh my oh god. My god. If I could go back, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And, and um, it was great to see your mum and dad here. You brought them back over here to do a tour with, yeah. with the Nielsen. So you did uh, a, a reunion. Yes, yeah. I did. And it was quite, it, it turned out so well. And it was such a great show, so much fun. Um, originally, I booked the tour. They were just coming over for Christmas, for their first New Zealand Christmas. Okay. And, um, and then, surprise, I booked a 10 date tour. <laughs> Hope you didn't want to relax too much. Um, no, but they loved it. And uh, so I, I had booked the whole tour and was really excited about it. And then I actually stopped for a minute to think of the fact that I was going on tour with my parents again. <laughs> <laughs> I would have brought, brought back some memories. I know, I kind of went, what, what am I thinking? What am, I doing? am I gonna ruin my career over here? I've, I've built this whole image and now I'm, <laughs> Now it's just gone out the window. The minute my dad opens his mouth, people are going to know that I'm from a crazy family. Oh, come on. <laughs> Talented. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> so, yeah, they, I bet they were, like, completely surprised. But, obviously, it's just natural for you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it was really nice because we haven't performed together. I mean, I go home each year, usually in, this, in the Canadian summer, and do a couple shows with my family, but they've never performed with me over here, and people haven't seen kind of my origins and where I came from. So how did that, um, what was the response from that? Oh, I, it was wonderful. People just, I think people really enjoyed seeing me in that in element, your element yeah, as a daughter yeah, and yeah. not, yeah, it was, uh, it was really different. Um, and I think I had so many people come up and say, oh, suddenly you make total sense. <laughs> now <laughs> I get like, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my fault. It's <laughs> <laughs> not my parents' fault. This yeah. is why. <laughs> So the three of you have some like incredible harmonies, and so you chuck in, you've chucked in like 
Beatles and other sort of covers? Yeah, well, we, we tried to do just songs that we, um, that my dad grew up singing in his musical family sure. and then and that, that we grew up singing. So everything from Hank Williams to the Beatles to Johnny Cash to um, even old Carter family songs. And yeah, so it was just, a, and, and some Nielsen family songs as well. Yeah. So we uh, we did a mix of, of everything that kind of influenced us and the things that we had performed over sure. the years. You thought about uh, bringing them over permanently maybe? Oh, I'm always <laughs> trying. I'm always trying to entice them over. You know, I keep popping out babies so that it'll, oh. you know, <laughs> how many lure now? them. How many, how many I've got one at home and, okay. and one with us today. Yeah. <laughs> one in the oven. Not one crying. in the oven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. So how does, your, how does your husband handle time alone? Like, you, you must be away quite a bit. Does he come on tour with you? Or? Um, it depends on the situation, where I'm going. But um, for the most part, he has no time alone because he's at home with our two-year-old. <laughs> sure. um, so he's a uh, daddy daycare all the time. Awesome. <laughs> so we're definitely, it's a definitely a, a 50-50 partnership with cool. raising kids. and. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so he's he's Extremely amazing. Supportive. Yeah, yeah. He's there's absolutely no way that I could do all of this without his help and his support. So when you have you, kids involved, how did you meet? Yeah. You was did you meet in Canada or no? We met over here oh, okay. in New Zealand. Yeah, I am. Um, I came to visit a girlfriend who had moved here, and her husband was a Kiwi. And they invited Grant along. We did some Tiki Tour stuff, and and damn, there you go, <laughs> dynamite, <Got> suckered <laughs> in oh. by the accent. Oh dear. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, and I can. My mom said to me at the airport, "Now don't go and fall in love with someone over there." Yeah. On my first trip here, and I said, "Are you kidding me? Yeah. I would never <laughs> have a long distance relationship." That's Murphy's just Murphy's law. Murphy's law. They say yeah. That, and, and you can't get any farther away if you get <laughs> if you run. You're just getting close. Closer. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> New well, Zealand's pretty much as far as you can get. Yeah. She won't be saying that again. No, <laughs> no. Um, so tell me more about Dynamite, um, your fourth album. Uh, mm. you must you know you must know all the ropes about recording now. Um, I I guess I've I've recorded in a in a lot of different situations growing up in in you know really big state of the art studios. Um, and then with my own, <laughs> when you're funding it yourself, yes. <laughs> uh, the Starving Musician Studio, which is my brother's kitchen table, or yeah, because um, up until this album, in the past, I've done my past few albums have been the kitchen table sessions, for the reason <laughs> yeah. that um, you know my brother produces produces it all, um, my family plays everything on it, and so that's how you kind of you know keep the costs down, and sure. and uh, they do everything for for free so for we me. Was, we was this album recorded? Well, this is my first album recorded in New Zealand oh. and with all of the New Zealand musicians that I work with regularly mm. and uh, so with my with my band and uh, so it's really special to be able to do um, an album over here that um, kind of represents how I've grown as an artist while living in New Zealand mm. and and uh, you know they're kind of my musical family now sure. you know so it's it's really nice to be able to have that have a a physical um, copy of that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, absolutely. And uh, do you work with a producer? Yeah, I, I worked. Uh, uh, this was recorded down at uh, the sitting room in Littleton, and uh, who have produced some great albums from the Eastern and from uh, Marlon Williams and Delaney Davidson, and and Delaney um, Davidson and Ben Edwards co-produced this album. Mm. Uh, so that's another thing is to be produced by somebody other than family. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> it's a different dynamic. Obviously, with family, you can be like, oh, that's crap, you know, and be yeah. really rude but <laughs> yeah. with people who aren't related you need to be Social. a little bit more yeah, yeah PC not too much though not with Delaney you don't have to be too PC no. with Delaney yeah yeah do you um do you enjoy the recording process I love it yeah. yeah there um a lot of people are kind of you know some artists are all about touring and live performance and some are all about the studio and kind of prefer one over the other, but I actually love both. Um, and I've always loved doing studio work, and, and for me, as a vocalist, it's just a challenge to you know, nail it every time or get better with each take. And with, with this recording especially, it was all, uh, we really wanted that feel of kind of those, you know, golden era of recording in the mm. 50s where um, they would, you know, have a day to record an album basically and they yeah. just yeah. fire off all these songs. And, and so everything was live off the floor. The band awesome. was just all together in one room. And uh, we really wanted to get that kind of raw 
edge of so you your any, seat. So you got any little surprises on it? Um, <laughs> there's, well, some of it is, you know, we do takes and it would be, it would be like, oh my God, I can't breathe. It was like a really <laughs> fast, you know, a lot faster than we practice it. But then you kind of get that real right. um, intense mm. feeling when you're listening to it. So um, yeah. And then obviously the challenge of, you know, when it's everybody, if one person makes a mistake, then we all got to do it again. Yeah. And so it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was a great experience. Yeah. And I mean, and so winning three, two, here we go, get this list right. Three Tui Awards, then Music Awards, Best Country Album, 2009, 2010, and 2012. Uh, and then Best Female Artist, 2010 and 2011. I mean, it's quite an achievement. <sighs> I got through <laughs> Quite an achievement. I mean, how... An achievement <laughs> just saying all of that. It's crazy, <laughs> I know. I'm like, ah. <laughs> So, you know, has the industry been supportive, you know, with your career? Yeah, well, um, it, at first, um, I found that, you know, coming to New Zealand and, and being a country artist was actually a big shock to the system, coming from North America, yeah. where it's so mainstream. And then coming here where it's, um, you know, definitely not mainstream. It's a lot more of a challenge getting into mainstream media, sure. getting coverage. There's kind of this stigma attached. Um, but in the, over the past five years that I've been working here and building my career over here, um, it's de I've definitely noticed a shift in attitude um, toward, um, it, because I, I don't do strictly country music, you mm. know, it's a mix of rockabilly and soul and Americana. And so all of those things, I think New Zealanders are starting to really embrace. Um, really yeah. And I, th I guess the more they were exposed to it with so many great New Zealand artists doing a lot of that, um, music, uh, they just discover, oh, hold on, you know, actually I might, I might like country music. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to admit it, but yeah. I possibly could. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, um, you sang, um, Dave Dobbins, uh, language at the Silver Scrolls Awards last year. Mm. Um, you know, it was an unbelievable performance. Well, you know, oh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And, um, you could have like heard a pin drop. It was ridiculous. I mean, uh, you know, did you talk to Dave after the performance? I did. Yeah. It was, it was actually so nerve wracking because I mean, singing, singing the song of, you know, an iconic performer yeah. is already, it, but in front of them, yeah. for them, sitting right there, like, I was <laughs> yeah. really yeah. shaky. And I had the worst head cold of all time. So I was like shooting up nasal spray backstage, very glamorous. And uh, was, was Actually, quite... it was really amazing. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that. Shit. It was quite nerve wracking because it was just me and a harpist. Yeah. And so there was no, you can't hide a cold. No. There's no drums, there's nothing to kind of... <laughs> Pretend that you're missing a note here and there, so it was all you know very very quiet. But um, no, it was it was such an honor to be able to uh, to to sing for him, and he was lovely afterward. He said he he enjoyed it and and that he was a fan, which was really Yay. really wonderful, especially because he was one of the first Kiwi artists that. I was really exposed to and, and um, started to kind of get into his music yeah. when I first moved here. And, nice. and um, I mean, as everybody does, you know, he's just kind of a, a national treasure, isn't yes. he? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do, do you see any collaborations maybe with him? Oh, Sometimes. gosh, I wish. I would love Come to. Come on, Dave. Come I would on, love Dave. to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, no, you should. You should definitely hit him up about it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, listen, I sang your song. <laughs> now, I tried you know. not to screw it up. <laughs> Can we please do something? Come on. Smoke that up. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> croissant or bagel? Croissant. croissant. Of course yeah. you'd say that. You're in a French cafe. We're in a French cafe. <laughs> I kind of feel obligated to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Jason Derulo or Justin Timberlake? Um, do I have to choose? <laughs> both. <laughs> I guess yes, it's I both, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Is it steak or salad? Steak. <laughs> yeah. Nice meat, not yeah. vegetarian. <laughs> it's it's for the baby. Of course it's, it's for the for baby. <laughs> not for me. Um. Okay, right, TV, YouTube. Um, actually, I'm more of an online watcher these mm, days, but not necessarily YouTube, but like yeah. all the on-demand stuff that, you know, you can kind of watch it on your own time, yeah. 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 So especially with a toddler. You, you never get to watch anything through from beginning to end we'll unless it's like, yeah. High five. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could do a kid's album. <laughs> yeah. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Karen Walker, Trillies Cooper. Sorry? Karen Walker or Trillies Cooper? I'm probably more of a Karen Walker girl. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, Red Bull or coffee? I actually don't, I don't drink either <laughs> because I get completely, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, out of control. By yourself. Out, I'm a tea, yeah. tea girl. Tea, tea girl, okay. Yeah. Whiskey or champagne? 
Uh, again, um, I not don't right know. Now. <laughs> <laughs> if you were not pregnant right now, what would you drink? <laughs> I'm actually not. I, I don't really drink alcohol, actually. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. It's just the boys. something that I, yeah, I've got enough um, <laughs> things that I, str- you know, like the steak yes. and the croissants. Of course. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> it's enough one less it. thing to, yeah, worry about. worry about. Okay, rugby or soccer? Soccer, yeah, Ooh. yeah. I think it's oh. just the North American thing. Okay, we'll let you off. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we'll let you off. Okay, okay, cats or dogs? Oh, that's a tough choice. That's actually a tough. I'm actually allergic um, <laughs> to their dander. Oh, okay. Um, so but no, you know that doesn't matter. I still, I still love no, them, and happy. they're cuddly and sweet. And uh, it would probably be dog. Um, nothing against. I, I grew up with both, so. I can't, I can't decide. That's like That's deciding. A hard question. Yeah, <laughs> this is really intense. You just wanted like one word, okay. but I can't really. This is one really hard one. Okay, Uh-oh. camping or hotel? <laughs> hotel, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, five star all the way. <laughs> my my idea of roughing it is not having a mint on my pillow. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, that, that's it, that's it, that's enough. I'm not, <laughs> no, but this is great. So thank you so much, Tammy Nielsen, like, awesome, amazing lady, and so talented. Thank you so much for, like, meeting with us today. Oh, my pleasure. And I'm so excited. You have to check this out, the Dynamite album. And um, so when is this being released? Uh, that's released the 21st of March. 21st of March, yeah. there we go. And we can follow you on Facebook. You can, Facebook, YouTube. Website? Website, TammyNielsen.com, all the regular means of stalking. Okay, Please stalk me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we will, don't you worry. <laughs> Thank you again. This is Tracy from Music Nation. We'll see you next time.